Have you ever tried mixing watercolor, charcoal, and colored pencils in one painting? Crazy, right? I did it, and I will show you how. In order to pay my respect, I chose Chadwick Bosman. So let's draw his portrait by using three different mediums. Now, together. If you want to see the list of materials I used and the colors I chose, they are all in the description part. Before I explain my process of Chadwick Bosman's portrait, I want to tell you why you should use mixed media in your drawings or paintings. And then of course I will continue explaining. Number one is because they pop the colors and focus the attention to certain areas when you use them wisely. Pencil sketches can become alive just like the one here by coloring the eyes, lips, or any other object in the drawing. The second reason is that it saves time. Especially if you are working on a large scale, color pencils can be really tiring and time consuming. Here you see that I apply both charcoal and colored pencils on them and they work perfectly. The third one is the fact that it creates a very nice base color in some cases like here. Moesha had lace top and it would have been very difficult and time consuming for me to draw her skin first with colored pencil then try to do the lace on the top. So I just created the base color with watercolor and I added the details on the top with colored pencils. And the final reason is that it creates more interesting and fun artwork. Another famous mixed media is watercolor with ink pen. And these are great to work with. Just want to say that these are not my work, I found them from Pinterest. And here today we are working on Chadwick Boseman's portrait for the exact same reason. I want to make it interesting and fun. Here on the left what you see is the list of the colors I used for the skin. Skin doesn't have only one color, it has multiple colors. There is tones of peach, pink, yellow, orange, brown, red, beige. So definitely we need to pay attention to those in our photos, reference photos, and then decide on which pencil we are going to use beforehand so that while we are painting, we don't have any problems. Another importance of different colors is around the eye, for example, I used five or six different colors. With drawing, normally you have only one black pencil and you're fine. You're just gonna create different shades of gray with that. But with colored pencils, it's completely different. You need different kinds of colors to give depth. For the burnishing part, I used three different colors. I used light peach for the pinkish areas, beige for the yellowish areas, and white for the really bright areas such as the forehead. And for the eyebrows, I used two main colors, dark umber and black. When you do the facial hair, don't forget to sharpen your pencils because otherwise it's not going to look realistic. Actually, in general, when you work with colored pencils, make sure that your pencils are sharpened because otherwise the paint, the pigment, is not going to get into the tooth of the paper. Here I'm finishing up the eyebrow. If you look at the portrait of Chadwick Bosman, you see that his lips has mostly pinkish tones, so I chose pink tones according to that. Also there are some shadows in the lips, so I chose dark umber, dark brown, sienna brown for that and also of course sandbar brown in the middle of the lips i made sure that i used black pencil before i apply the mustache i want to make sure that i have the base layer i have the skin tone underneath and also i want to make sure with my white pencil i added all the highlights that i need to 
Now I'm going in with my black pencil, adding all these details in the mustache, and I'm going to do the beard the same way, but just a little bit different. I will explain how. So in the beard, you see that he has curly hair. Let me slow down and show you how I did this curly beard. So you make spirals with your sharpened pencil and you make sure that you know they go over each other because otherwise it's not going to look natural. This is why I wanted to have a white background in the beard because it's going to give that curly effect. You don't want to do it completely dark, but you don't want to leave a lot of whites either. After I did that, I also went over with my charcoal pencils in the beard and the hair as well. So where did I use the white gel pen? I used white gel pen in the reflection of the eye and the white of the eye. And my black gel pen, I used it in the mustache because I don't think my black colored pencil does a great job there. For the clothing part, I chose watercolor because it's more fun and it's interesting. I used only three colors, black, paints, gray, and white. And my white color is gouache, actually not watercolor. I added the masking fluid first to the areas that I want them to stay white and I added Payne's gray in different tones and I just played with it. It was really fun. Then while that's drying up, I wanted to do the background. For the background, because I have a pitch black background, I used a charcoal black. I'm removing the masking fluid and I'm adding all these white and black details again. I added some kind of triangles there too. I think it just looks great. You can add as many details as you want. You can get creative here. It's your painting. It's your mixed media. So enjoy. After I finish the background, it's almost finished. I'm just going to add the last touches and it's going to be ready. I just added some purple in the hair as well, just to give some color. And let me show you how it looks like in the end with appropriate lighting. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you want my full-time tutorials, they are available on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, ejegurlar.com. Stay with art and 